triad process, we would have joined your triad with another triad and uh, had another uh, several minutes to share what the two triads explored. But in the interest of getting to the important content uh, around housing today, we're going to skip that. Um, but I would love to hear uh, a few uh, takeaways. What struck you from that experience? Anybody want to share? Uh, we have to Hi, I'm thinking. And it was amazing, the three of us, we all kind of agreed about the fact that one of the questions, one of the things that we would like to bring forward is the um, issue of affordable, appropriate rental units. And that there maybe is a question as to what kind of rental units uh, Peter, will, Peter will, would like to have. And we talked about the uh, accessory dwelling units and how they're available to everybody to have on their property, um, for the most part. Um, but also just that maybe the housing we should be thinking about is what's available for renters that's affordable and also decent. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Thank you, Peggy. Other possibility discussions? Go ahead, Kate. Yeah, so um, Anne was new to our group, and her passion was a walkable, healthy community, the very, very high value of what she wants to see here and how we could work together to create that. So walkability was very high. OK. Uh, Great, thank you. Yep. <coughs> We've got one right here. Um, I think that we really want a cohesive policy that integrates all the stakeholders and then if there are times around, if ours is to be successful and truly representing others, then it can be used as a model for other rural small towns because this is issue is not isolated to just people. Absolutely. Thank you. Peter, did you? Yeah, just, uh, uh, we talked about affordable housing because we know that's a big issue. And uh, getting a clarification of generally what we want to have for affordable housing. And But one of the caveats that we have about affordable housing is we've got this terrible trend in the United States where housing prices and building costs have gone like this and wages have gone like this. So to have clarity on what we can control locally, some of the things that have come out of the state's uh, affordable housing task force are good. And and not uh, spending time uh, on things that we can't control. I mean, we're not going to raise wages in, in the area in Peterborough. But to the degree that we can mitigate that and come up with clarity on what we want for affordable housing and what that means terminology-wise versus subsidized housing, those things are important so that we don't waste time on things that uh, we really don't control. Great. Thank you, Peter. Uh, how about one more? Um, I think uh, in our group, uh, one thing we're talking about was um, common terminology, and um, we're excited to create because you know what, even just like for example, affordable housing, what that means to one person may not be the same what it means to another person. Um, so like the different language creating so that we're all on the same page, um, I think is something we're excited about creating. So, yeah. So um, learning the terms, um, what they mean, and um, then like not putting our own bias on that, um, and then being able to stick that to the community as a unit, unified collective. Great, thank you, Eddie. These are great possibilities. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of thinking about possibilities and then exploring them as we go on here, but it really sets the stage for some of the learning that we're gonna have and some of the more challenging conversations that this group and the larger community conversations that we're going to have as we go through this process. So thank you very much. All right, Des, I'll turn it over to you to introduce